Hello everyone, in this video I will be showing you how you could create a stop sign detector in Scratch. To get started we need to create a new variable called timer. After that let's just set it to 0.1. Then let's take a forever loop. Then let's set this timer to the sensing timer plus 0.1. Then after that let's just reset timer. Then we need to pull out this when loudness block. Then change this loudness to timer. And then when timer is greater than the variable timer. Let's just do whatever you want it to do when the stop sign is detected. So let's just say stop sign is clicked. And now let's just run this so as you can see it's normal but when I click the stop sign it says stop sign clicked so let's see how this works. So basically we have this timer variable and when the project is running the this timer variable will be greater than this timer sensing which runs so this one actually runs even when the uh, stop sign uh, is clicked however this stops when the stop sign is clicked so when it when the project is running this will be more than this timer so, but when the project is stopped this will start running this will be this will tend to be more greater than this timer which means it will detect stop sign is clicked And that's the end of this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.